So, welcome back to another episode. Um, this one's going to be something different, as usual. We always try and say it's something different, but you know why it's different? It's raining! <laughs> it's not often we show you much rain, eh? But check this out. You can hardly see. Now, uh, this is a really nice spot. It's called Barra Crab. It's a caravan park at Clearview which is sort of uh, probably an hour and a half, two hours south of Mackay, in between Rockhampton and Mackay. Now, normally it's beautiful out there. It's a dugong sanctuary, beautiful like blue water. Tide comes up, camp right on the beach. We're in the unpowered section. How much is it? 35. I think it's 28 bucks a night, but yeah. they charge you for kids. They were nice enough to only charge me for one kid. <sighs> what do you reckon about the rain, Rue? Yeah. Horrible, isn't it? Yeah. Have a look at this. Oh. You know what though, lucky we're not in a tent. Yes, or, um, well, it'd be way better in the house. Yeah, it would be better in the house. Oh, do you want to go and get the swag off, mate? Uh, nope. No? Let me ask me, you ask Jack. Um, what'll I ask Jack? Uh, what do you think of the rain bill? Uh, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Pretty average, isn't it? Oh, look at that, look how much rain we've had. <laughs> <laughs> and this, this is silence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are a mental kid. Dead you are a mental You're the coolest kid ever. Get away! Ah, so there you go. <laughs> we were hoping to show you like a beautiful beachfront campsite here. But instead we've shown you like a, a monsoonal mess. But that's alright. You can't control the weather. And uh, as you find that out, as you head north, further north into North Queensland, you can get anything on any day. And uh, oh, I'll tell you what, have you ever stood on these bloody things, those three cornered jacks? Oh my God, there's plenty of them around here too. Anyway, so you know what happens when you're the man of the house, you get um, lugged with all these duties even when it's flogging down rain. So I don't see anyone else out here sopping wet. But we're ready to go. I'm gonna back up here, cruise out, and we'll go to Flaggy Rock. Alrighty, so this is Flaggy Rock. We've pulled up here. You come through the gates up there, call old mate on his mobile, and he comes out and says, G'day. There's also a little playground up there and a swimming pool. It's a fire pit down the centre. And if you swing around, have a look, there's like just massive bit of green acreage for you to pull up wherever you want and we're down the back corner here so there you go now we're in luck because it's just flogged down rain about 40 mil this morning the rainwater tanks were full up at the community center there so we just topped up our water tanks and we are just going to chill it's only lunch time but there's no point going any further because it's just going to be a horrible yucky day like this but I'll bring you inside and show you what's going on today because it's not often that we do this. No, it's not. It's a bit of a, well, because it's raining, there's not much to do. So I'm going to do some work. I've got a few blogs to put out and the kids have their iPads today. But that's right. They're just going to chill, watch some shows yeah. on their own, um, probably only for an hour or so. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I've got a little bit of, a few Play jobs around. to do on the van and the car, just poking around and stuff. And um, we'll just ride out the weather. It's a good thing about not having a time frame is that you don't have to punch through to places um, in yucky weather. We can just chill and wait for it and um, tomorrow and the next few days is supposed to be really nice. So we'll do that. Have a lazy day. It's there actually you go. really nice these days. We really enjoy them because it forces you to do nothing. Well, sort of, I reckon this is probably like maybe our 10th day of rain in four and a half years. Mm. <laughs> we don't get many down days so we sort of make the most of them but it's the same it's a good bit of info for you guys i reckon don't try and you know keep pushing on and racing it's really bad and dangerous to travel in really rainy weather with the caravan on your limited visibility it's slippery and like this morning with a lot of water um you sort of hit these big puddles and stuff you've got trucks coming the other way throwing wash at you it's really not a safe time to drive and everyone else is in a rush yeah. which is really unsafe so just stay off the road. Yeah. Same as why we don't drive at night time and that sort of thing. And we just poke along and do a couple of hours of a morning. Um, it seems to be the safest time on the road we've found. So there you go. Bit of an insight into what goes on between some of the cool locations that we find and the episodes we do. Okay. There's still a, a lot of chilling out in the background. Yep. It's work-life balance, isn't it, dude? Yeah, this is where we do our work. <laughs> <laughs> it's the office. Yeah. <laughs> and the workbench. 
Alrighty, so today we are leaving Flaggy Rock. Uh, the only thing is there is a um, train line here and you get a few freight trains going past, but honestly, it was not loud at all. You know what was louder? Um, this mob over here, they pulled up at about four o'clock or three o'clock and they ran their generator non-stop to like bedtime. I'm like, mate, you just got here. There is acres of land to park on and you pull up beside us and crank your jenny. Oh my God. I was like, what do you mean? Anyway, that's what happens. There's sort of a, I should start a whole series on camping etiquette, I reckon, because a lot of people just don't have it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> All right, so we are staying at a little place called the Byfield Camp Stay, right? So beautiful property. Only 20 bucks a night for all of us. Heaps of good spots to camp on like this. Just pull up wherever you want, in your van or your tent or your caravan, whatever you want. It's an old mandarin farm. Anyway, come up here because I want to show you uh, the showers. So, well, I better tell you a little story. Our hot water system just decided to pack it in. So, I don't know, gas won't switch on. It's got no 12 volt power only thing in the whole van everything else is sweet so i don't really know what's going on but there are some pretty trendy showers up here dear. yeah it's yeah. a bit of a unique experience isn't it but i, I know I oh, to, it's a bit fresh I had to race down to a bit come up here because i'll have to do this for you because i don't really I know I'm, figure it out. I'm a gumby i would never have worked it out yeah so. grab this so anyway what there is there's a couple of showers they're the old canvas bag ones uh, and then you've got like a little pulley system on the side here and you can like <laughs> undo it if I can. It's all tangled up. And then, watch this. God, come on. Down she goes. So we put that down and we fill it up with water. And then we raise it back up. And old love can have a hot shower. <laughs> Keeps I mean, me happy. This is where it gets difficult. There's, uh, there's four different taps all over the joint, right? And, um, go back on the pool. Yeah, anyway, I'll figure it out. It comes Charlie, out of this tap here. So back, I'll do it from the miso. Okay. She loves me calling her miso. I hate it. She's That's why I keep saying my name is Beck. My affectionate term. Huh? <laughs> anyway, we'll fill this up and then I'll pour it in and Old Love can have a shower. So there you go. Oh, and Old Love. Seriously? Old Love. Old love. She loves that one too. <laughs> I've got lots of random names, don't I? Alright. You just wait for what comes next when you see her in the shower, eh? Hey? That is. Not <laughs> happening. All right, no, no. bucket's full. So just so you know, dear, you're only getting one bucket, okay? Yeah, no, that's fine. Oh, that? mate, I have 30 second showers <laughs> all the time. You do not. I do. Here we go. So in here, and you just got to tip her in. Oh, don't waste any. Look that one bucket fills the shower up. Um, I'll hoist it back up for you, my love. Thank you. Ready? What would I do without you? It doesn't quite go high enough. You still sort of have to yeah. crouch when you're in there. Make sure you tie this off well, otherwise um, you'll be halfway through a shower and you'll get 20 litres of water drop on your head. Anyway, and then there's just a little tap here, babe. So, turns it on yep. and off. Cool. Easy. You good with that? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Let's derobe and jump in the shower, eh? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> How's that, babe? Nice actually. Goes right, eh? Yeah. It's got a long crouch down though. <laughs> uh, oh. oh, enjoy. Will do. I'll see you in about 30 seconds. <laughs> How to have the perfect bucket shower. There you go. Not bad. This is where we've pulled up at Orkaby. It's All right, so my batteries have just gone flat on the saw. I often get asked how I charge them up. Well, I just carry a battery charger. So with the saw came this one, a um, dual battery charger. I usually keep it in the van um, and I'll just bring it out and plug the batteries in when need be 
here's the other one it runs two 18 volt batteries this saw it usually lasts for ages but i haven't charged it up for a, a long time i just plug it in here and my inverter 2000 watt e-power is just here and i just turn the button on uh, actually i'm a dumbass you gotta hold it on there you go once it beeps it comes on and then um that'll kick in and my batteries will start charging for me so let's have a look oh there you go dee -dee, dee -dee. Yep, they're going they're both dead as a doornail so there you go Right. Hey, while I'm here, these things are mint. They're only like $15 knife, a little Barco one, and I've just siliconed uh, the little sheath there. It's so handy to have in the car, hey, and just pull it out and use it wherever you want. I'll try and show you how much power it's using. Uh, 37 amps minus the bar fridge, so probably about 35 amps it's pulling to charge those batteries, and um, I'll keep an eye on it and have a look um, how long it takes probably take about an hour or something I suppose like something like that but anyway they're pretty low at the moment because I used the um, the car to charge the van yesterday we just had weather like this for like days and days and days and just not getting the solar in and like you've seen we're not traveling far we're like traveling half an hour up the road so it <laughs> doesn't have much time for the alternator to kick in a good charge anyway get this firewood going soon and we'll get it cranking Where's my best firewood collector? Oh, here she is. Well, you can do better than that, can't you? Where's the big one? Ah, you just got me with it. <laughs> hey, new rat bag. Yeah, I'll go and put that one down. We'll find some more. Be a good fire tonight, Bezzy, won't it? <laughs> All right, come with me. I'm going to show you what we're doing. Uh, I've got a fire cranking because I need plenty of coals. I ripped out the camp oven kit. It's my hillbilly camp oven kit. I always get lots of questions about it, so I like to give you guys info along the way. Um, here's what we're cooking on the front there, still defrosting, oh, it's leaking barbecue sauce down the snorkel, there you go. But um, jump up here Beck, because we haven't shown you this. I know it's only a shovel, but what we've got is a shovel holder. <laughs> now the last one, the Rhino Rack one, they're a bit gumby and you've got like, you've got like a, um, what's going on here? Car's beeping at me, anyway. There you go. Um, the old one we had was just like, um, had this, big knob on the end and then just a bolt that you screwed down on a clamp but it meant that you had to feed the shovel through all the way you couldn't just slot it in these ones you can just pick it up see that and you can put it in any position you want you just slide it in um, and it's a clamp so these ones are uh, a Yakima one like it's not the same brand as the rack but they fit in on the same setup anyway <laughs> there's the car beeping at me again so if you jump up here you'll see they're like a clamp See this? And you can just clamp it wherever you want. And you can also lock them too with a key. I think I'm pretty sure I threw the key out because, mate, if someone wants my shovel that bad, they can come and steal it, whatever. It's <laughs> nice, easy access for me just to be able to do this. So there you go. Got them in Anaconda though, like 69 bucks. Um, and they're heaps better than the other ones, I reckon. They look better too. Anyway, come and have a look at the fire. Here's my shovel. Here's my camp oven kit. And I got the fire absolutely roaring because I need some coals, right? because um, I've got to cook these ribs, buffalo ribs, for like two hours in the camp oven. So I'm going to get this rocking and rolling so we've got nice, heaps of nice coals. Yeah, mate, you can have that. And then one more thing I want to show you. Come with me, because this is where I store everything. Like, it's all well and good to have all the cooking gear and stuff, but you need somewhere to put it along the way as well. So the reason I like the stuff I've got is because it's nice and slim. Look at this. That there is my fire pit. Can you believe that? that I use for my camp oven to sit on. And this one here is my tripod that I set up and I can adjust the height with my grill rack and cook on it. Cook, cook on it. And then in here, it's my grill rack. So there you go. I'm gonna set it all up and show you how we cook dinner over the coals, mate. I've never done ribs before. I hope I don't burn the crap out of them. <laughs>
Righto, so I managed to get a table. Do you believe it? How good is that? We've anyway. been looking for one for ages. We have. Yeah. And um, I found one. <laughs> yeah, I'll give it to Beck and I'm going to get it out. Uh, and like I said, I did get a little bit of fishing gear too. Of course just you a, did. Just a little bit. Of course you did. I'll just show you. I'll just show you quickly. I've got, I've got a new shirt because I need a new fishing shirt. I've got new batteries for um, the kids because they're hanking or they've been hounding me put new batteries in their um, two-way radios and Jack's birthday present, which is a remote control car. It's like a little Christmas, isn't it? <laughs> hey? I've got a slug that I lost at Notch Point. And um, I've got some squidgies. And oh, you know what else? Some spare bungs for the boat, because I nearly lost them the other day. And if I lose the bungs, I won't be able to put the boat in. So anyway, enough about that. Here's the table. This one here, babe. Nice, cool. So we wanted one with chairs. We were just going to get a table, but we decided we wanted chairs because yes. important because the kids will be doing schoolwork on it so we didn't want them slouching in there that's it and we wanted one that the Decky. chairs clip to the bottom of that mm. so then i can sit this or you can throw it on the bed or behind the spare wheel or on the front i don't know yet i'll figure it out yeah. i'm going to put it and show you um but, uh, don't, hey take it easy on me it's the first time i've done this <laughs> So you'll, at least you'll get an idea of how easy it Don't is. Don't look like a not There we go. Oh, well that's pretty easy. One, two. Oh. That's killer. And then oh. you snap those little things out there. Oh, right? yeah. Um, and then flip oh, it Oh, yeah, over. we've had a table like that before, I think. Oh, well, oh that's that, a good that little was size, easy. actually. Yeah, nice right. spray. There you go. And do you know what he did do? Here. He actually FaceTimed me when he was in Anaconda to make sure the oh, colour, because oh, he had could green. Could you imagine the kafoor if I come home with the wrong well, one? Well, he had like a really, <laughs> not even nice khaki green. It was like army green. I was like, eh. That's this one, man. What? Is this the army green one? I don't know, is it? No, it looks grey. It's not grey, look. No, but it wasn't like that one that you showed me. Oh, that's lucky. Anyway, this is nice. I'm happy. This is good. There you go. Hang on. Take a seat. I reckon we'll sit out here a lot more now. Yeah. And the kids can do schoolwork out here and stuff. That's the plan. There you go. Because if you didn't know, Charlie will be starting school next year. She, she'll be in prep. So we're going to have three kids to school. And that's going to be a bit difficult. I just want to eat dinner already. Yeah. This great. So yeah. this is going to be, Charlie's going to do a school workout here, all the boys. Yeah. That's that, Yeah, we just sort of got over trying to eat in camp chairs. Mm. Um, because it's good for a while, but then you're trying to eat off your plate all the time. And yeah. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, the only I, thing I, is... um. Is good. Uh, I'm going to tell you a con or a downside of them is they're a little bit heavy. So this is about 12, 10 to 12 kilos. Yeah, that is heavy. Um, but it's about the lightest you can find for a table this big. So that's the only downside. Or table to and them. chair combo. That's right. You yeah. can get the you can get heaps lighter just tables, but then you can't use this and a camp chair because you still sit and it doesn't work. Whereas these match up. So there you go. That's the downside to it. But well, this is just what we load. wanted and what we prefers for hey, out. For get us. out of my fishing gear, you. <laughs> Cheeky girl. Yeah, we'll see how we go. We'll try and find a spot for where it can live. Otherwise, it might just go on your side of the bed. No, no. You can go on the roof of your car. No. That's... Actually, that the platform there, that's no, a great spot for that's it. That's Tom's home. It's not going up there. Tom's a tinny, if you didn't know. Tinny gets priority over the table. All the time. Well, my bedside like gets places, priority over the tinny. If you play wife table tinny, <laughs> <laughs> tinny always wins. <laughs> Uh, oh, all right, I'm stoked. What I have to deal with? Adam and Kai did idea, and where are we going? Well, I'm just looking on my phone actually, because um, I'm just on Wiki Camp, so I think we're going to go to Hold It Flats, and I'm just going to book it to U Camp booking. So I'm pretty sure it's about five dollars per child, so we're looking about thirty five a night there. But apparently, it's supposed to be really awesome, like river camping. I think. Sweet. I've got to read a bit more into it. We'll go and check it out. Yeah, we'll go and have a look. It's in between Mackay and Ely Beach, so and we're heading towards Ely, so we are. good, good little stop off. Anyway, here we are. We didn't really get the pick of the sights. We're sort of bang on the road. Beach is here though. You got pretty nice views. Look at that. And we're parked under a monster mango tree, I reckon it is. But it's a pretty cool campground. It's just a massive, big sort of treed paddock <laughs> pretty cool isn't it jacko yeah yeah but um what do you reckon mate you like it i really like it yeah yeah like, did i say that right mm. i really like it speed demons oh you want speed demons 
Uh, yeah, yeah. Morning from Seaforth Camping Reserve. I feel like singing this morning, dude. Oh, it's fun. It's been a good mood. Anyway, um, I'm cooking pancakes for the kidlets. I'll give you a look at this. Here's one here. Let's see if we can flip him over. Well, who started cooking it? Oh, yeah, don't try and take credit. I took over because I wanted the kids to actually enjoy well cooked pancakes, not some burnt discs of charcoal. So, um, sometimes I make them, sometimes we just buy these. Um, actually, normally we just buy these. But you know what? It's so easy. It's just one egg, one cup of milk, one cup of self raising flour. Whisk that together, and there's your pancake mix. You can put sugar in it if you want, but I don't because the kids always put. Um, oh, have a look at this. Look at Bill. <laughs> it's got bananas mm. with drips of syrup and blueberries on it. So they always just um that looks very artistic. Put honey or whatever else on it, so they don't need sugar. So there you go. And I'm I'm the king of the flip show. Did you know this? Yeah. No. Hold this. Hey. I'm still under pressure. Oh yeah. I'll give you a hot tip. Make sure you, you flip it with the that first, so then you know it's got a flip. But the kids love it. Are you ready? One, two, three. Yay! Yay. A flip shot. <laughs> oh, look at my What are you going to put on yours, Bear? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Mum, look. What? Anyway, guess what I'm going to put on it? That I'm going to put awesome. this on it. Nice. Jack has a small pancake. <laughs> All right, let go, yes, well done. Have a look at this for a setup, would ya? Come in here, what do you reckon about, hold it flat, dear? I love it, hey? it's so cute. I'll swing That's around, really hang nice. on, so it's five minutes in here and we're set up, but swing, oh. have a look at this. Car Creek Campfire. And we're in our van. I think they have a look a at it. Of flats because they hold the river flat. Do you reckon? Look at that. Later on, I'm going to cook a chicken korma on the campfire what? and show you how that's done. But anyway, let's swing it around. I like it. Hey, hold it flats. Hey, what it is good. Why don't you show my new table and chairs? Thanks, dear. Hmm. It looks great. <laughs> are you for real? What are you doing, mate? I'm doing a mask. What? It's a new one. I'm going to test it out. The kids could do that for school, mate. I know. I've, 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 this is the first time I've done it, and I've made it, like, really thin and watery. But I did want to keep putting more in to thicken it, because then I was, like, wasting it. So I've just <laughs> sucked it up today. I'm not a bloody beauty therapist. I'm just <laughs> trying to make my skin look half decent. Hmm. Hang on a second, I'll zoom right in on oh. this bit. Look at it. Oh, look at that. Mm. How long are you going to leave that on for? Just 10 minutes. Oh, how do you get it off? Oh, you just wipe it off. It's oh. like a cloth. Yeah. There you go. But yeah, super. The things you do to stay beautiful, eh? I know. Oh my god. Oh. Righto, Bezzy, show me how to put this shovel together. Hey, okay, you got it sorted? Yeah. <laughs> you squeeze them together? Do you want me to squeeze them? No, that's all right. Bezzy's got it. Yeah. That's it, you know he's there. <laughs> there we'll go. There you go, look, I'll show you. I'll grab yeah. those two bits and squeeze them so they drop in. Right, now push them in. Click. All right, I'll grab the other one. Oh, you're so close. You're like there, ready? Now you push it in. Huh. Yay! That's all done. Also lower it lower if you want to. There you go. Yeah. Happy days, Bear. Dinner time, Desmond. Hey, today I'm gonna to do a chicken curry like I told you. I'll run you through quickly what I use. Just chicken thigh. Now, I know that looks like a lot, because it is. There's probably, um, what'd you buy the other day, dear? How many kilos of thigh? Like a whole packet. You know them yeah, big you know, like plastic packets? $11 or whatever. We normally split them into two and like just make them, but because we're making family curry, uh, and we like, like it to have lots of chicken in it, because that's the best part, yeah? Anyway, carrot. 
yellow capsicum, red capsicum, onion, sweet potato. Um, these ones here we found, where do you get them? Woolies or Coles? Woolies. Woolies, the passage to India. They're all really nice, like the korma and the butter chicken for the kiddies because they're not hot. And if you like a bit of spice, that Pakistani one and something oh, else we have yeah, are, are really nice, hey. Yummy. So um, we're doing it in the camp oven out here. Look at this. Oh, what a good spot. And then, um, so I'm just literally, you chuck it all in, put the lid on, two cans of coconut milk, two packets of this, your veggies, that, and then um, I'll swing around here. We keep all our rice and stuff up here. We just use, um, oops, I can get it out without. Oh, here we go. Just a couple of these basmatis in the microwave. And we're done. So I'll let that simmer away on the coals for about, I don't know, hour and a half, two hours, and it'll be bloody delicious. So dinner's up, come and check this out. It's all worked out a treat. So here is the curry, look at that. It's actually a different color than normal. I think I've got a bit of, um, bit of charcoal and stuff in there, but you know, that's all adds to the flavor, yeah? But look at my naan breads. So what started as this has turned out as this, and they taste damn delicious. So I'm pretty stoked with that. Now, here's the rice. Um, we're lucky we've got an inverter so we can run the microwave, no dramas. Put that in there. I'll give a scoop of this. To Jacko. Oh, what do you reckon, Roo? A bit of sauce, and then I'll snap a bit of this off. Um, there you go, Barb. You know what we call him, Barb? <laughs> Short for rhubarb. There you go, mate. Look at that. What do you reckon? Oh, actually, hang on. Oh, the pistol resistance. A bit of Greek yogurt on top. Now that's a campfire dinner. What do you reckon, Jack? Yourself. Happy with that, bud? Your same. Your beauty. Good eat. It might be super hot, so just be careful. I'll mix it. Alright. Alright. You're gonna try that one at home, mate. Do you reckon it's gonna be good, dear? I reckon. You've done it smells amazing. I'll try it, it smells so good. How much do you want? Uh oh my god, standard? it is so good. Standard. Like the whole camp oven. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dear. This is so good. Here we go. One cent coin. The frill neck lizard on the two cent coin. The echidna on the five cent coin, the lyre bird on the ten cent coin. Who's the lyre bird? This bird here. The platypus on the twenty cent coin, the kangaroos on the dollar coin. We do school half for half an hour, and um, we either do it inside or outside. But now we're starting outside because you would have seen in the video how Dad bought this table. Well, it's our first time doing school work outside on it. Well. My, my second time because Billy didn't get to do school the last time, but we yeah. do it. A, we do it for a bit longer than half an hour, Ru. We've been doing it for like forty-five minutes already. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's when you do school with us. What are we learning about this morning? Coins, oh. money. money, and we're gonna do. But you know what? I need to do like trace around some coins, and I don't actually. I've only got a one and a two. I don't have any other coins because we just don't keep them anymore. Hey, mum, mum uses pretty much all my coins. Mum uses all my money too. Don't worry about it, bud. We're gonna go and find this swimming hole. Apparently, there's a swimming hole just down the road here with a big rope swing, and we're gonna go and check it out. There you go. Are you gonna go for a swim? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Depends how cold it is. <laughs> there you go. It's only like two minutes away from the campground, babe. Yeah. Righto, kids. Who's having the first go? Yes. All right. Oh, nice. We're no, just doing, no, we're just creating Australia's off. Funniest Home Videos. Ready? No, I'm not. Yep. I'm going to do it, but I just need to like take my clothes off and I don't want you to film it because that could be well, awkward. You're going to do it in the nick. I'm going to do it with my babies and you're fall in. You won't fall in. It looks a little shallow. You know? Why would you fall in? Just don't no, let go. Because I'm a gumby. <laughs> hey? Come on, have a practice run. Then you can get, no, your, I'm, get I'm, your gear I'm off. I've got to do it with no clothes on. Come on, with no clothes on. No, I meant my babies. Mm. I'm going to do it with water. Yes! Can I do it? Oh, I'm yeah. gonna try first. Ooh, mama bear. Hello, let's go, bear. Oh, I just. God. You better hang on with those muscles. My daddy coming! the tree! <laughs> 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 You 
<laughs> You're gonna get stuck out in the middle. <laughs> You're gonna have to get in there. <laughs> Oh, oh man, that was so funny. <laughs> oh, thanks, dear. I needed, I needed that. We've decided to stay another night at Hold It Flats. Now, I've had the fire going again out there for about the last hour and a half. I've got some coals on, just preheating the camp oven. Now, I'm going to do a slow cooked brisket, right? This one here. From the Aussie Smokehouse, she is a brisket of pulled beef. So, Got a recipe from the same fella, um, from the Noosa Civic, the Noosa Civic Butcher, and uh, it's actually in the car, and Beck's going to town, but I'm pretty sure I know the first part, and um, it's just to brown off the meat, and then pour the sauce in, so it comes with a big bottle of this, right, just a big like thing of passata, that's going to be the sticky sauce that when you pull it apart in the camp oven, makes it that awesome like pulled beef, you know. And Beck's in town because she's gone to get Turkish rolls and coleslaw. So we can just have a sweet campfire meal around like that. Um, anyway, I'm going to cut this open, chuck it in the campfire, brown it off. Then I'm going to pour the sauce on it. And I reckon um, I'll probably need to throw in a couple of beers as well, just for good measure. But I'll show you a bit of footage of that as I put it together. And then when we slap it on the rolls tonight, I'll tell you how it's turned out. But I reckon it's going to be good. It's going to sit on the camp oven for five hours, mate. I'm just going to have a nice... That's sort of now. slow cooked, you know, just a light layer of coals there to sort of chug it along. Mm, it's good. Mm -hmm. Hey! Oh! Jesus! That went out, didn't it? Righto, so this has been going for like four hours. Have a look at it. I'll just put some more coals under it, so it's probably a little bit hot. I might just back that off a bit. But the sun is going down, hey? Give us another hour or so, and we'll get dinner ready. Grab these tongs here and flip it over. Give you a look at it, eh? See if we can't turn this over. Here we go. Oh, it should start falling apart, I reckon. Oh, it is, look at that. Oh, it's all starting to fall apart. Oh, that is so good. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm going to tip a beer in on top. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. For them not to take that off. That looks delicious. Mm -hmm. Really yeah. nice. That's perfect with slaw. Mm. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. That's like what do you reckon, Bill? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, how's it go, mate? Ten out of ten. <laughs> how's yours? I haven't even tried it. Oh, come on. Hello again. It is. Hey, it's oh, I got the radio on. Let's turn down the radio day. Uh, what it's day is it? It's moving day. What day is it though? It's Tuesday. <laughs> Today's Tuesday and we are leaving the gorgeous little Hold it farm flats. stay or whatever. Hold it flats. Uh, loved it there. If seriously, whack it on your itinerary to come here because it's really beautiful. Yeah, like we said at the start, um, what did we say? It's 38 bucks? Yeah, it's a little bucks. bit so pricey. It's a little bit pricey, but honestly, it is worth it for mm. a couple of nights. Um, it's beautiful. So it make sure nice. you check it out. And anyway, hot tip, come midweek. Yes, definitely. It was like no one there midweek. It was awesome. Anyway, we are just deciding what to do, actually, as we always do when we jump in the car. Um, do we go to Proserpine and out to Peter Force Dam, or do we head into Airlie, pick up parcels? The kids have school tomorrow with their uh, teacher, their online live lesson, so we need internet for that, and you don't get it at the dam. So we're just making our little decisions now. We've got about, what, 35 minutes, I think, <laughs> to get into Proserpine, so we'll make our decision by then. All right, in Proserpine, there is a free camp. I'm going to swing around here and show you because it is pretty damn full at the moment. Look at this. It's just like an old cricket oval in the back there. 
but it's free it's in the main street and it's got a dump point and it's got a water fill point so there you go so we well i'm just going to fill up our water tanks and we're going to go and try and find a free camp um, around early beach somewhere and we'll see how we go but it's a good stop to empty your dump point and fill up with water um, and well if you want to go out to peter Four Dam, which is a free camp so there you go i do want to go out there but they reckon all the reviews say it's just full of filthy backpackers um, and i'm not really into that anyway let's we'll see how we go good spot to top up your tanks okay first stop in early always hang on, hang on. Oh. Let's start out where'd we end up oh yeah <laughs> we're coming to early hey. Yay! we've got parcels to pick up and the cool kids have school in the morning so we need service and um yeah i've got like tons of washing so we needed water and things but anyway always always first stop coming into early beach you head over the marina and down into the marina it's the most Able beautiful view able point marina there's a cafe there called bohemian raw and they do the best coffee the best acai bowls and funnily enough she's actually a girl i used to go to school with she's really good friends with my sister her name's kat and oh here this is my favorite bit Oh, oh excuse our window. There's always heaps of parking with your caravan oh, on too. Look. So you can park in like the boat trailer parking bit. So before you even get into Early Beach, swing in. Actually, it's before, if you're staying at the Big Four Adventure with Sunday, that's back down the road a few minutes. So you'll go in there first. Oh, and around, but... Sorry, I'll get it off Justin. Look, just love it. So anyway, you just park down here. And um, yeah, I'm going to go in and get a quick coffee. Get a coffee um, before we park up at the Discovery Park. So at the moment they're running kids free, which as you guys know is a huge saving. So it's $38 a night there uh, for a powered site, which we don't normally need powered, but I didn't even look to see if they had unpowered, which was a bit silly of me. Anyway, just gonna let the kids run amok uh, in the pool, the jumping pillow, etc., for a couple of days. Go and do me a cyball thing. It's actually my birthday this weekend, so you might get a little something something. It's your birthday? Always. You know he literally forgot my birthday. Was it last year or the year before? Mate, and he I, didn't, I, no, 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 I'm talking. And he didn't realize until my parents called me at like 10 a.m. and go, happy birthday. And he was just like, I was like, oh. You are the worst husband You know what? I am ever. that good to you, darling. It's your birthday every day. Oh, stop it. We've arrived at Airlie Beach. I'm going to show you where we are because I like it, actually. We've stayed in this park a few times before. It's the Discovery Parks, which is through Airlie Beach on the way out to Shoot Harbour. So it's only five minutes from town. But it's generally cheaper. It's still got a water park. It's got a playground. And it's a little bit more relaxed and not as expensive and ridiculously overpriced and run like a resort. Like the big four which adventure with Sundays. Not our scene, mate. Cost you a fortune and the kids get over the water slides in like a day anyway. So we reckon it's better to come out here. But that's just our personal choice. But we found a good little site. Site 102. Look at this. I'll give you a quick look. Swing around. There's no one here. We're backed onto the bush. Here's the bush. Here's our site. It's massive. Um, and then you can just... Oh, we've got no one out this way either. So it's a good little spot. There you go. Good morning, and today is a little bit of a special day. What's today, kids? It's Mummy's birthday. <laughs> so we got Billy's making omelets. Hey, poor old Jacko over here is doing the dishes. And you've already made coffee, haven't you? Yes. Hey. This is what Mum does on her birthday. She bosses everybody I around. Do not. <laughs> no, they are doing it voluntarily. They just want to help out as a birthday present. So. We're gonna make omelets for mum. She can sit in bed and have a few coffees. We'll just chill out today. We are in Early Beach. We are. So what would you like to do today, dear? I don't even know. Like, you know, my birthday literally crept up on us. So it was like, oh, it's on the Saturday. And I don't know what we're gonna do. I did a little bit of a shop yesterday. So um, bought some new clothes, which I'm pretty excited about. And yeah, we went out for coffee yesterday. And I don't know, had a couple of drinks last night, caught up with some family. So today's probably just just a chill day, yeah. yeah. So I'll give you a, a bit of info about what we do for birthdays. Me and Beck don't do presents. We sort of we never have, not no. for like the last ten or twelve years anyway. And like, I put that down to us always wanting to. You could get a money. present, like yeah. Like, plus, like, if we ever want something, we just 
buy it throughout the year instead of waiting for a birthday yeah. and then we just otherwise yeah i don't know that's so that's why there's no fantastic birthday present for Beck. so what are you doing for mum's birthday charlie bear i'm cutting up some cheese you are we're gonna make omelets hey we're gonna have capsicum ham cheese omelets what do you reckon about that oh, what would you like to make my own omelet uh yeah we can try and i'm cutting up the ham too no, no. ham's already done dad did that with a sharp knife Oh. We're missing some mushrooms, but hey, do you want to go to the shop and get some mushrooms? Okay. <laughs> hey, come and check this out. We've got a new addition. Um, if you've seen our vids before, you would have seen these things, right? So they're like our just, they're not stickers. They're not. Um, they're vinyl decals, doll. Thanks, dear. They're vinyl They've decals. They've got on there. Right. And the good thing about them is that you can um, pull them off and reuse them again, or move them, do all that sort of stuff. Now, we've always had an Australia mat, right, in every van. But you know why we don't have one in this van? Because it's a sticker, and you always have to leave it on. If you try and pull it off, it just destroys it. So then we come up with this great idea. We're like, let's do an Australia mat made out of this same stuff here. So we got onto this this mob, Wonder Maid, um, awesome lady actually, and she helps us out with a discount for you guys, and you're going to get one on these as well. But check this out. Look at that. It's our new so cool. Australia map. And that way, because when you do, like for a lot of years, you do your 12-month trip, you mark off your little track around there, that's a really good keepsake. You want to keep that when you move on, you know, or you sell your van or you do something different. So now we're going to be able to pull this off and move it to our next van in another 18 months or so. Because that's what we do. We get a new van every 18 months. So. <laughs> and you know what's really good too? It's nice little geography lesson for the kids too, so they can see kind of where we are and Yeah, actually um, that's a good towns. point with this one. If you have a look, if you most other stickers or maps you get will not have this many points of interest on it. This one we've tried to put a lot of them because... The, especially up the west coast you go to all these places yeah. so it's cool that the kids can follow it and you're not just drawing a blind line along the coastline you're actually going through the towns and the kids will know they'll know you've been there how was that so anyway we're gonna add it we're gonna add it on here so i've just cleaned the fridge here spray and wipe just to prep the surface and now justin is gonna nail this Should oh my not? god doll jesus okay don't stuff this, please. How do I stuff that? Oh, I don't know. You want it up higher, up there? Uh, no, a bit lower. A bit lower? Yeah. Down there? Mm, yeah. Oh. Is it like centre? Is it straight? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you can't really tell if it's not straight it is, anyway. But, oh, the good thing about it, it's got a sticker. You can peel yeah. it off and have another crack. So you're not good, because it's a vinyl decal, see how easy that's going on? There's no, you don't need a squeegee, there's no bubbles, there's none of that. Look at that, it's done. So there we go. Now we've got to test the kids on their geography because we try to tell them, what are you going to pick, Bill? Hmm? Are you going to try and pick a state yeah. or something? Oh. Good story, dude. <laughs> Fun. Yeah. Anyway, there you go, that's the sticker. We'll drop in, I'll put in the, the link down here. If you just use our code, you get 15, no, how much do we get off? Yeah, 15%. 15% off, there you go. So I think they're about 50 bucks. So you'll get it for about 42 bucks, maybe? Something like that. Anyway. Someone's good at their math. Jump on. But while you're there, have a, well, you have a look at these too, because they're sick. And you know what else they do that I reckon we need, dear? They yeah. do things like this that have got like um, times table cards on them. Yeah. Um, pluses. Body. Um, alphabet stuff. Heaps of cool learning sort of things that would be perfect for your van. And you can take them out and use them at home. There you go. That's our Australian map. Morning. We're coming to you from Big Crystal Creek Campground and we're going to head up, well we're just going to have some brekkie now and then head up to the Big Crystal Creek rock slides this morning. So we had a bit of rain last night so we're hoping that it's a nice little flowy rock slide this morning so it should be pretty fun. We're going to get up there early before the crowds because I reckon it is Saturday today and I reckon a lot of the towns and locals will come up here for the day to have fun on the rock slides. So it's about 8 o'clock in the morning so we're just getting organised now to head up. Take some snacks and then a bit of water. Should be fun. So we're nearly there, mate. Yeah. It doesn't take long. I'm like puffing after going up this big hill. But 
It's not even. Would you say it's five minutes? Like seriously. Oh, it's, like it's not far. The, oh, shivers! It just <laughs> fell off the footpath. This part here is only like um, 100 meters, and we walked about 200 meters across a little causeway yeah. from the car park. So easy walk. And um, I'm pretty excited because you can hear the water running. I know. It's charging down. Slide's going to be running, Rue. Yep. Kids have no back. shoes on as per usual. Here we come. Oh, there is two. Wow. Oh, look at the rock slide pumping. Down the bottom there, look, from the big pool. Remember, it was only that real last bottom bit last year. Yeah, I so? this. Uh, this was the place I was talking about. Come on, Rui. First one. Oh, <laughs> that's epic. That's the end of that episode. It covers all the stuff between Barra Crab and Crystal Creek. And uh, that's amongst the other episodes we've done. So along the way was Notch Point, our favorite free camp in Queensland, and the Whitsunday Rennie Yacht and Charter. It, it really is such a beautiful part of Queensland. And there's so many good spots to stop at and swimming holes. And we just had a bloody good time. We did. And it shows you a bit of the stuff in between uh, the other episodes that we've done and the places we've hit along the way. So I want you to drop in your comments and feedback. Um, especially about the kids, we're going to put together a video <laughs> about um, what questions you'd like to ask the kids. So like their favourite spots, their favourite things about van life, uh, what other things yeah, we have like well, toys. Um, we thought that you guys could ask your own kids questions that yeah. they have for our kids and put together like a little episode about that. So drop in your comments or questions. I'll do I know it. you're just repeating <laughs> what just I said. At that. Oh. Yeah. But anyway, hey, um, plan for now, so you might under oh, so you understand what we're we're up to. I can't speak today. Yeah. Um, we're in Cooktown, right? We're about to hit the Cape. We're getting ready. Uh, there's a few things going on. There's bushfires and there's bad weather and stuff. But the next few episodes are going to be about hitting the Cape. So um, we're going to take our caravan and we're going to spend a few weeks to a month up there fishing and showing you some of the hot spots. So I also want you to drop in the comments what you'd like to know about getting cape ready and the places to go up the cape with your caravan. Sweet? Lots to comment on. Lots to comment on. Bring it on. <laughs> and don't forget to hit that little subscribe button because we need that. Alright? Alright Rue, so see you later. Bye. See you later. <laughs> later. See you later, eh? Checkers. Checkers. Alright. Yeah.